What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to go over Screencast-O-Matic and how you can use it to record and edit videos. Screencast-O-Matic is a terrific screen recording software, especially if you're starting out because they do have a free version. So if you go to Screencast-O-Matic and you go on pricing tab, uh, you will see all the different plans and features that they have corresponding to each plan. In this video, I do have the premier plan, so I will be able to show you all the features that Screencast-O-Matic has. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. I am logged into my account here, and this is kind of the dashboard, the Screencast-O-Matic dashboard, where you have all your uploads here. You can download the software, and you can start recording and open the video editor. So to start recording, whenever you're ready, you just click on Start Recorder, give it a few seconds to load, and after that, it's going to open kind of this interface from which you can start recording and uh, go over a few settings that match whatever it is you're trying to do. So give it a few more seconds and it should be up. And here it is. So it might be different for you. Uh, it might start off like this, it might start off like this, it might start off like this, uh, might even start off like this, okay? I will go over briefly what each option means, but let's start off from the very beginning. So whenever you're, you're ready to record, you just click on this button that says REC, which stands for record. Uh, this little gear icon here, that's just the settings. Again, I'll go over those uh, in more detail. This is the draw and zoom tool, uh, just allows you to draw stuff. I personally haven't used it much, but you can go ahead and play around with it. Uh, once you say make an arrow, right, and you're happy with this, you just click on done and you save an upload, you edit it further, you share it, stuff like that. If you're not happy with this, you just delete everything and start over, and it's gonna take you back to this part. If you click cancel, it's going to close the recorder, okay? So that's these four options at the bottom. So now we can go here. So the screen here means that you'll be recording only the screen. Webcam means you'll be recording my face. In this case, I'm already using a camera. Uh, I'm, I'm using this Logitech, so the only other camera is the HP Vive Vision, but Whatever camera you have, you just select it and it's gonna record you basically, not the screen. Last but not least, you can record both yourself and the screen, which is what I've been doing in pretty much all of my videos in the past. And you just click both for that. And as you can see, it, it now records you on the bottom right. And then over here, you just select full screen to record the rest of the screen. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this. I'm gonna go back to just recording the screen for simplicity. Um, you can set the maximum amount of time that a recording will last. If you're on the free plan, the maximum time is 15 minutes. So the video will just stop whenever you reach 15 minutes and you'll have to record another one if you want a continuation, uh, but you're capped, right? I am on the premium plan, so I believe there is no limit, um, but it's definitely more than 15 minutes. You can select the size, as I mentioned. So again, I'm just going from top to bottom of the options, right? 480 is the small size. Um, 720 is a bit bigger, but you can also adjust this. So, you know, if you want a custom size there, right, you just made it 1400 by 800. Um, now, in my cases, you know, I always recorded the full screen. This is narration. Uh, so just make sure this is green, which means that the system hears that you're talking, right? If you don't see anything there, then that means that there's some problem with the audio. So make sure you select your microphone. Um, I'm just using the default one because my one of my mics is already taken for Camtasia to actually make this video. Then there's computer audio. So if you're recording a screen and doing online marketing videos such like myself, where I just record the screen, you probably don't want any computer audio coming out. There's really no need. You're the only one talking, right? So usually this would be left at no. And that's pretty much it for this. Um, I guess one more thing, there's preferences, which is really just hotkeys. And that's pretty much it, okay? So there's that. So once you're ready, you just click record. So let's record a little sample here so we can go in and edit it and I'll show you what it looks like once you're done. Hey guys, what's up? I'm recording a video within a video, uh, kind of like videoception. Um, and it's now seven seconds long and I'm talking and I'm just doing a little dance. And okay, let's pause it here. Uh, so the video was 12 seconds, okay? So there, that, that just shows you how long the video was. You can keep recording. So. If I decided that, you know, someone's knocking on my door and I have to go get it, but I'm not done with the video, you can click that button and then just keep recording. So I'm gonna record again. It's gonna do a countdown. 
hey guys, all right, I'm back, and blah, 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 okay? And now I'm gonna pause it again, uh, and now it's 17 seconds long. So this is really just um, a pause, really, okay? So you can still keep recording, but you can also, so these points, they show like the pause and resume point. So as, as you recall, I just paused the video, right? And then I recorded for another three seconds. So I can jump to that point and I can actually record at that point. So if I forgot something, for example, if I was recording about, I don't know, Google ads and I come back, right? And I start talking about how to make a campaign, but instead I start talking about how to add extensions. And then I just realize it. I can go back to this pause point and I can talk about actually creating that campaign because that's an important part that I missed that I forgot about, okay? Just giving you a real life example of how this can benefit you. Uh, this just plays everything for you. Uh, again, this just shifts it um, to the pause and start point. This is turn on, draw and zoom. I explained that to you. If you're not happy with your video, you can just delete it and start entirely over. And then when you're done, you can click done. So if you are happy with the recording, you're gonna click done. Uh, now, you can save and upload it. You can quickly just share it to somebody or you can edit the video, which is what I always do just in case, even if I think my video is great. So here's the video um, that we've done. So if we click play, Hey guys, what's up? It's gonna play everything for video. us. As you can see these little mountains here, that's the speech, okay? That's the audio. So let's look at some of the editing options. So first off over here, that's the canvas, that's the image size. Um, so the actual size is the full uh, kind of laptop, which is 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, narration, honestly, not, not, not exactly sure what that is. Um, I guess this allows you to export or um, yeah, export whatever I was saying into a separate file. You can also add music here. So if you, uh, I believe you can have pre-existing songs. I'm not gonna actually do it. Or you can just upload your own songs, right? So as you noticed, some people, they have music in their uh, videos and that's, that's how they do it if they're using Camtasia. You can show cursor or not. So look at my cursor here, right? You see that cursor there? If I deselect it, the cursor is no longer visible. So if you're doing online marketing stuff, you probably do need the cursor on if you're if you're teaching people. This also shows like, you may have noticed a little yellow kind of circle around the cursor and that just helps people see where it is. So that's how you change the color. You can decide if you even want to have it or not. Then you can have a different color when you actually left click and right click, okay? So there's that. Now in this case, I have no webcam right, because I just recorded the screen, but you can choose to include webcam or not if you selected the webcam option. So there's that, you can also add captions. So if you have a captions from a file, you can just import that file and use it there, okay? So that's for these options. So if you're done with this and you're happy with the video, you just click on done, but there are a few other tools we have. So for example, we can add, so there's a bunch of tools, okay? I'm not gonna go over all of them, but we can, for example, cut a video, okay? So if I click cut here, I can select a portion and I can cut it up to say here. I can play it to see what this would sound like if it's cut. Um, Suppose I'm happy with the cut, I'm going to just click okay. And that's it, right? There's that red little dashed line. That means that's where it was cut. So if I click on this, I can actually remove the cut. So if I decide, you know, no, this, this actually isn't good. I can click on that red line and I can just remove it. And it's gonna take my video back to where it was, okay? So that's the cut. And then this becomes like your new default. You can also click on tools. The other thing I like to use is blur. So if you want to blur some elements, you can add this blur here. And you can, let's say we wanna blur this, my plan, right? I can select that. You can select what you want for it, like what the transition for it would be if, um, for it coming in, like at the first part and then for it coming out. So for in, let's say transition is, let's say fade, right? So now it's gonna fade blurriness. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like. Well, actually, let's just finish this and then I'll show you what it looks like. So we'll also do fade. Uh, you can also say layering. So right now the cursor is at the top, then the blur is on top of the video, right? So you can change this. So if you put the blur behind the video, then you'll, you just won't see the blur at all, right? So as you can see, blur is not there because it's behind the video. If you put it on top of the video, now you see the blur, okay? So that's, that's what that is. So that's pretty much it. If you're happy with this, you click on OK and let's see what this looks like. So we can click here. Hey guys, what's up? I'm recording a video. And as you can see, the blur kind of fades uh, in and then it's gonna 
fade out, right? Because that's what we selected. But that's blur. If you click on any portion of the video, you will see all the parts that were um, added. So if I, for example, add also an, let me see, like an arrow here or something like that. If I add an arrow, yeah, this one's fine. If I add an arrow here as well, and I just say okay. Now, 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 as you can see, this shows here, Screencast-O-Matic, that I have an arrow and I have a blur here, okay? So this just shows me all the elements that are in there. Um, and then, obviously, you can click on any one of them if you want to edit it, right? And it selects it for you. But that's pretty much it. I mean, you can go through all the tools. Like I said, if I go through all of these tools, it's probably going to take me a good hour. So I'm not, I'm not going to bother with that. And I didn't even use all of the tools here, okay? I only used a few of them. Um, but just play around with them. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all for editing your video. As you can see, you know, you can't really go into granular, granular detail when it comes to editing. So that's why I said this is a good software to get started with. It's not uh, ideal if you want to go into really professional editing. But I'm, let's imagine I'm done. I'm going to click on done. And now I have two options. I can save this as a video file and I can save it wherever I want to, right? So you just select the folder. Uh, the quality can be lower, normal, or higher. So if I select lower, now I can select normal and higher from here. So I like to go with higher. That's fine with me. And I can upload this also to Screencast-O-Matic. So if you upload this to Screencast-O-Matic, that's the video that's going to show up in your dashboard. So if we do this right now, you can select, uh, you can ch change this. So let's say, you know, how to, how to, Record screencast o -matic. Let's say that's the name. Uh, again, you can show the cursor or not. Uh, you can select a password. You, you can add it to a specific channel, stuff like that. Um, well, these are basic things. So I'll click Publish. And now it's going to upload. Now, you can have a link, or it's just going to be at, get, get added automatically to your account. Um, if you're sharing this with anybody, you would probably just copy a link and then use it. Now, what I personally do, uh, with with my YouTube channel is so if I go back to this video I uh, I save it I save it as a video file and then I upload it to YouTube okay so if that's what you want to do you can do that but the first thing you can do is probably upload it to Screencast-O-Matic just so you have it there right so as you can see here's my uploads if I just refresh my page I should see this here in my library too and now I can always refer back to it and I can click on this Right, and that shows the video. Now, if you decide you want to edit this video, you can't really access that edit um, interface from here. So you do have to go to edit, uh, open, uh, open video editor. And then from here, you would be able to edit it. Okay, so it's open now. So let's suppose I'm just gonna close it, right? I'm gonna open it again. And the video editor is what will show you all the videos that you have, that you've recorded and that you've saved. So I'm gonna do that. Give it a second for it to load. Okay, should appear in a second. And here it is, right? And now I can click on this and I can again make the necessary changes and stuff like that. I can also delete it if I don't want to. And likewise here, I can also delete it there. But that's pretty much it. That's how you use Screencast-O-Matic at least to get your first video out there. This video should have hopefully helped you get everything you need to do so. Um, if you have any other questions about any specific parts of Screencast-O-Matic, let me know in the comments down below. But hopefully I gave you a good basic starting idea for how to get started and really just everything you need for basic simple videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might like my other videos on other affiliate marketing tools. I will put the link up above. So check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.